how's it going guys and welcome back in today's video we're gonna be taking a look at this motor driver which is a Cytron um, MDD 10A this is a 10 amp motor driver and in today's video we're gonna be learning how we can use this motor driver in our projects and how we can control it uh, through Arduino this motor driver can control any motor that requires a voltage from 5 volts up to 30 volts which is pretty sizable uh, it can drive uh, 10 amps at that voltage uh, here we have the controlling pins these pins allow us to send signals in order to control the both the two channels of this motor driver so the first pin that we have at the bottom is ground so that ground you're gonna connect directly to your uh, Arduino's ground or any circuit that you have the ground then you have for both channels you're gonna have PWM 1 and 2 and you're gonna have direction 1 and 2 the directions are signals that allow you to change the directions on which the motor is moving uh, so you can send one signal to go clockwise and the other one to go counterclockwise these are usually digital signals that go from either 0 or 5 volts for example and it's the same for both channels it's gonna be uh, if you want to go clockwise send like a 0 if you want to counterclockwise you send a 1 then the PWM signals are different because PWM pulse with modulation um, it's a sort of like a pulse train or like a square wave that you can vary the width of the waveform in order to be able to create sort of like a fake voltage so then we also have these buttons these buttons control each one of the channels so what these buttons allow you to do is to power on the the channel in one direction at full speed so this one let's say we can go counterclockwise at full speed this one clockwise at full speed and so on it depends on how you wire the motors and same for this for this channel as well and the connections for this channel are the same as you have here and for this channel are the same they're gonna have here so this is gonna be the channel one which controls is controlled by this and by these pins over here and this channel two which is controlled by these pins and the output is this one at the back we don't have that much uh, it only shows us um, like a table of inputs and so on and this here shows us the the connections and gives us big pads if we want to solder the the wires directly to the pads as well so that's pretty good so I guess now that we know the parts of this motor driver I guess we can move on into writing some code for it and testing it with Arduino. So let's go to the computer and check out the code that I wrote for this first test. Okay guys, so I'm back here with the code. So this is the first example that we're gonna be doing today with the code. So what we're gonna have the Arduino do is start going in one direction and increasing the speed until it breaches the maximum limit and then switch the, the direction and do the same thing, ramp up the speed until it reaches the maximum limit and so on. These two definitions show you the pins that we're gonna be using. In this case, we're gonna be, for the motor direction, we're gonna be using pin eight, and for the motor speed, we're gonna be using the pin nine. Mind you, this is for the Arduino Uno. And we're gonna have one variable that is gonna be the, the variable that stores our speed value, which is called speed valve then here we have the setup here all we're doing is setting the pins that we are going to be using as outputs then here we have our main loop which is the code that we're going to be end up running and the first thing that we do is set the direction pin as off so it can rotate in the clockwise direction so it starts rotating in the clockwise direction then here what we're doing is we're starting to increase the, the, the speed from 0 to 255 and then as it starts to increase we leave a delay of 40 milliseconds because that way we can start to slowly increase and we can see the, the increase in, the, in that speed and we're going to be doing the same thing here at the, in the other um, loop so in the other, so before the loop ends I 
set the speed to zero just to make sure that this is gonna be turned off and then here what i do is i change the direction of the motor and then i start to increase it again on the other direction until it reaches the maximum speed and then i stop it and then it goes back to here where the pin is turned off and then it, the speed increases again in the other direction and so on it just keeps looping increasing the speed in each direction and so on let's go and build the circuit and test it out all right so i'm back and here is my arduino connected already to the uh citron motor driver connected to one of my motors in this case this was some uh sort of like a drill motor uh so if i power it on so you should be able to see that once uh the motor the they are doing and the motor driver starts the motor is going to start spinning in one direction and it's going to keep increasing the speed until it reaches the maximum speed and after that then it's going to go in the other direction and do the same thing so i'm going to power on my power supply and you'll be able to see so now it's going counterclockwise and it's speeding up Now it's going clockwise. And now it's going counterclockwise again. So the use of the PWM signal is allowing us to uh, change the speed in software and uh, be able to vary the voltage that is going to the motor uh, from basically zero volts to 12 volts, which is the maximum voltage that I'm supplying right now. And it might be very hard to see, but the LED starts to light up as the speed is increasing with respect to the motor. So now let's move on and try a different example, which is going to be similar to this one, except that we're going to be able to manually control the, the speed instead of having it be controlled over software. So this is the second piece of code that we're going to be using for the second test. So in this code, what we're going to be doing is taking a potential meter, reading the value of that potential meter. And once we read the value of that potential meter, so if the shaft is right in the middle or in the center of its movement, what we're going to do is stop the motor. Now, if we start to uh, move the shaft to the clockwise direction, the motor should start spinning faster and faster on the clockwise direction. And if we start to move it in the counterclockwise direction after the middle position of the potential meter, it, the motor is going to start rotating in the, in the counterclockwise direction and it's going to start uh, rotating faster the more it is away from the center position. And we're going to see how that works once we start testing it in the, in the real world. So this part over here is fairly similar to what we had before, except for that here I declared the potential meter pin as A0, which is the analog pin C of the Arduino Uno and I also declared here that I want a serial communication because that allows me to see the position of the potential meter in order to be able to check the speed value. First what I start doing is taking the position of the potential meter and putting in this variable and then once I have this number what I can do is check whether this value is bigger than a specific number and that what that number tells me is that um, the center position of the shaft. So this is slightly after the center position of the shaft. So if the potential meter is uh, away from the center position in the clockwise direction, what it's going to start doing is that it's going to switch the, the direction of the motor to go in the clockwise direction, for example. And then the value that we have for the speed which is the value of where the potential meter is located, then it's mapped into um, specific values for speed that is that is then sent to the uh, motor driver in order to uh, increase or decrease the speed. And the same thing is done here. If I'm going, if I'm rotating counterclockwise the the potential meter, then 
this um, pin, which is the direction pin, is going to be cha changed um, to high. And then from there, what I'm going to be able to do is map these values into the speed of the motor. And then that is sent uh, to the motor driver to change the speed. In the end, what I can do is in the serial communication window, I can um, output the speed of the motor and at that point. So let's move to the real world and test this out and see how it works. All right, so I am back here and now you see that we have a potential meter here connected to the Arduino. And what the potential meter is gonna do is that depending on how far from the middle it starts to rotate, um, that, that correlates to the speed of the motor. So if I'm moving it uh, clockwise, in and i go all the way to the in the clockwise direction to the end of the potential meter then this motor is gonna run in the clockwise direction all full speed the same thing for the other um, side is gonna run full speed counterclockwise and so on so now i'm gonna turn on my power supply and we can see it in action so as you can see currently the motor is not moving but the moment i start going for example clockwise the motor starts moving clockwise and i can keep increasing the speed all the way so that's all the way here and i can decrease it and you can see it starts slowing down until it reaches the middle and then it stops but then if I go counterclockwise, you can see that it starts moving counterclockwise and until I reach the end, which is going to be full speed counterclockwise. So that shows us that it's, proper, it's working properly. And it gives you an example of how you can take the, imp the physical inputs that, that a potential meter gives us, fit it into the Arduino. The Arduino can process that and send a signal to the motor driver in order to control the speed of this motor either way that's about it so thank you so much for watching uh hopefully this tutorial was helpful in order for you to get on um, this motor driver running uh, let me know in the comments what you're doing with this type of motor drivers in your projects um what kind of things you're building with this motor driver I'll, i'm i'm pretty curious to know what kind of stuff you guys are building with this thing um, anyways, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.